The patient is a 69 year old woman with an incidentally noted right adrenal tumor. She had a CT scan back in September 2020 to evaluate the kidney cyst on the left side. The scan picked up a nodularity on the right adrenal gland measuring 2.1 centimeters. Fortunately, her doctors did not ignore her adrenal tumor. She was also sent to a medical endocrinologist who did a complete hormonal workup. One year later, they repeated the CT scan. Now the tumor had grown to 2.5 centimeters. On the CT scan, the tumor was what we call atypical, or it had an atypical Im imaging phenotype. This means that the tumor had some concerning features. The tumor was lipid poor. This means that it did not contain a lot of fat. This is a concerning sign. At this point, the patient was referred to me. When I reviewed all her scans, I was sufficiently concerned about this tumor that I recommended surgery. I recommended surgery even though she had no symptoms whatsoever. I review all scans myself. I've seen thousands of adrenal tumors on CT, PET, MRI scans, and her scan was concerning to me. The patient then underwent a very uncomplicated right mini back scope adrenalectomy. The operation lasted 21 minutes. Two days later, our specialist adrenal pathologist called me. Indeed, the suspicion I had about the tumor was verified. The patient did have an adrenocortical carcinoma, also known as adrenal cancer. Fortunately, because it was detected early on, it was still stage one. Importantly, all the surgical margins were negative. This means that all the cancer was removed. It is likely that the patient had a surgical cure and will do very well. We have already set up a team of doctors who will follow her for many years. To this shows the right adrenal mass with the yellow arrow. And as you can see, the tumor is quite irregular and heterogeneous. It is what we call lipid poor. This has a atypical imaging phenotype. In contrast, the left adrenal gland looks completely normal.